Welcome back to another NBA recap, and there is a historic playoff race going on. It's the first time in NBA history that through 81 games with one game remaining, there's three teams tied for the one seed. The Minnesota Timberwolves are one of those teams. Carl Anthony Towns made his return after missing the last 18 games, and he hit a go-ahead shot that helped the Wolves beat the Hawks tonight. The OKC Thunder play the Bucks team without Dame, without Giannis. A bunch of guys were resting, and they took care of business, so right Right now, they are the odds on favorite to get the one seed, but still no team controls its destiny. And the reason why all this was made possible is because the Nuggets of all teams blew a 23 point lead to the 21 and 60 San Antonio Spurs. And when Benyama had 34 points, he was incredible all night long, but it was this sequence at the end. They got a stop. Jokic missed a shot that he makes more than half of the time. Then Devonte Graham with under a second left hits the game winner so the Nuggets lose and as Michael Malone said post game everything they earned by beating Minnesota on Wednesday they gave back tonight so basically OKC they have the highest probability to get the one seed because basically Minnesota the Timberwolves they have the head-to-head -head tiebreakers over the Thunder and over the Nuggets individually but then if they all finish with the same record whether they all lose on Sunday or all win on Sunday OKC has the combined three-way tiebreaker because they're five and three against the Nuggets and the Wolves combined, even though the Wolves have the head-to-head -head against them. It's confusing in some ways, but basically, if they keep the same record, then the Thunder will get the one seed. The Cavs, they clinched a playoff spot. Joel Embiid, he got 32 points as the Sixers are getting ready for the playoffs. He had an injury scare, but he was fine. The Lakers, with some help from the Phoenix Suns beating the Kings, are now up to the eight seed, and that's definitely a big difference from being the nine or ten seed where you have to go on the road and win a couple play-in games. The New Orleans Pelicans are looking like the team that no one wants to face, and on Sunday, they're going to be playing to clinch that six seed so they can avoid the play-in tournament. I mean, led by Zion, and every piece on this team is just looking scary come playoff time. CJ McCollum over the past 24 hours has been playing out of his mind. The Kings, they blew a 16-point lead, and the Suns got to stop late, so the Suns have a chance to get the six seed. They're likely going to be in the seven seed. They play the Timberwolves on Sunday. Subscribe if you like these videos. Stay tuned for more updates on how this crazy, insane, historic playoff race pans out.